Oh, hey there, guys. What's really going on? Well, I've been up for about three hours. Now I got up at noon because Oreo had to go pee and some fucking tool came to the door and woke Oreo up, which caused him to start barking like a son of a goof. And then it was one of those uh, scam furnace dicks, those Alibabas coming to your door going, Hey, uh, hello, we're here from Pure Energy or Green Energy or Green Clean or like all these fucking stupid names, right? And they want to come in and take a look at your furnace and tell you that it's frazzled and get you to buy their furnace. But, you know, it's like, go fuck yourself. No, the furnace is covered under the, um, the same act as my hot water heater now. I'm going to get that shit looked at by the guys, so not a big deal. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so I told her to go, uh, pretty much go fuck herself. And then, uh, she left. And then right now, the mail dick showed up and dropped off two packages. Uh, this one here, this is actually uh, Bloke's DNA 20, uh, the blue one. I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to take it out and test it and make sure it works and stuff. Actually, I'll show you that right now. So there it is in the blue. The blue is actually really nice. Like, I, I, I kept the red for myself. Figured Bloke likes blue, so I'll give him the blue. Um, let's take it out and just take a look at it and make sure it fires and things. So it definitely turns on definitely turns on no different than mine it's hard to see it through the camera lens for some reason so you can get the screen brighter nope there so it's, it's at the 20 watts right now and that's as high as she goes press that button goes lower and of course you got your charging port and um, yeah everything's there fucking works like a charm Take off that screw and that screw. The battery inside is one of these. Dirty old EFES button top. I'm running one of these green Panasonics of mine right now. Seems to be holding out and I'm also running mine with a K-Fun. So I'm going to go ahead and box this back up and put it away for the next time I go to Blokes. So I can bring it down to them. We can have a DNA 20 device. It'd be awesome. Now also in the mail today I received another package. I actually got two things in the mail today. I got Blokes DNA 20 and uh, some e-juice. Uh, this e-juice is actually homemade except for one. Uh, two are homemade, one is from a store where he lives. Uh, these came from Daddy Tech ENT. And uh, let me show you what's really going on. I'll have a link for his channels in the description. So be sure to check those out, but let's take a look at this. So I'm not sure VG Koopa. Not sure what flavor this is. I haven't even opened them and smelt them yet, but I'll do that soon. And then this is another one he made. Oh, dick. He's just firing the Aegis around because he can't see shit. There we go. This is another one he made. Oh, upside down. Uh, this one here I know is Kentucky Bourbon. Kentucky Bourbon. Yeah, that should be pretty tasty. We'll have to drip that one there in a bit. Put that one down. And this is the one from Nebula Vapor called Pizza the Hut. Uh, and it's a 6 milligram. So, perfect. Yup. This is going to be interesting too. Apparently this one here tastes just like pizza. Crust, tomatoes, pepperoni, the whole kablam. Yeah, done. You know, freaking awesome. So we got some new juices. We got Bloke's DNA 20. Um, we are good to go. Um, got a call actually this morning from my boss explaining how this is going to work out for the next little bit because I'm working all these weekends. And um, I'm going to be sticking one to the man. It's pretty hilarious. So basically next weekend, okay, I work, I'm off today, today's Monday, so I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, off Friday, work Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Isn't that fucked? But I'm going to show you here, and this is what was fucking cramping my dick. Okay, so I'm going to show you where we are right now, even though when you watch this, we're probably not going to be there. So right now we're right here on the 14th. When you guys watch this, chances are it's going to be the 21st, and I'll be already done my weekend, 21st to the 22nd. So this weekend right here, 19th and 20th, I work, and then uh, I have to work this weekend here too. So what he did was he gave me this Monday off, the 19th and the 20th. 20th, he's going to give me this Friday off, and then I'll have to work Saturday, Sunday, and then, uh, oh no, I think he's giving me Thursday, yeah, sorry, he's giving me Thursday, Friday, off, and then Saturday and Sunday I work, uh, I work, 
And then uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I work, then I'm off on the 1st. <laughs> so like right before the long weekend, I'm off, right? So I can choose to have this off too and then have a four day long weekend. And then August, you see where it says August 9th? Okay, that begins my holidays. So like one week after the four days off, I'd have another four days of work and then be off for two weeks because I booked the 9th all the way to the 25th off. Now, sorry, after the 8th I should be off. Now, they need somebody to work the 9th and the 10th. Here's the big dilemma with that. That's, I'm the bottom of the top five who can work that, that, that time off. Now, I have to work the 9th and 10th. That's a big piss off because the 11th is my official first holiday day. I don't want to work that. Now, uh, basically what happened was um, my boss asked around, asked all the people at work, said, okay, who wants to work the 9th and 10th? Everybody said, no, let Adam have it, despite the fact that they can totally see that my vacation starts on the 11th. So my boss called today, and he's like, well, I don't know what to do. And I said, well, fuck it. He's like, what? And I'm like, book me down for, I said, anybody got the 8th off? He's like, just one guy, but he's on day shift. So I'm like, okay, book me down for a floater. If I have a floater on the 8th, and I'm off on the 11th, due to the union agreement, they cannot force me to work the 9th and 10th. How fucking slippery is that? And it is done. I am booked for the 8th, so my last day of work is on this Thursday the 7th, and then I'm off on the 8th, 9th, all the way to the 24th, 25th, I return back to work. Fucking slippery like a snake, eh? Son of a bitch. But that'll give me two weeks of uh, free time. I think Dad's going to come over during that time sometime, and we're going to put the new door up in the garage, and maybe go to the Home Depot or Rona or whatever, cash and carry, buy some copper pipe, and get the garden hose out the side of the house and delete the one off the back. So that is the slipperiest thing I've ever done. And I'm almost tempted to burn my last three floaters. Um, no, I might save a couple. I don't know. Fuck, I don't even know why I'm saving them. I probably won't even have a job after August. But, um, you know, until then, whatever. Now, it's 3.16 p.m. I don't have to work today, even though it's Monday, because, like I said, I'm just this is the month of hell. But, yeah. Okay, after smelling this juice, I found out it's vanilla cupcake. <laughs> It's really, really vanilla cupcake smelling. I haven't tried it yet. I need to uh, clear a dripper and get it set up. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, guess who's in heat once again. As soon as she's done, I got to, well, I should have called them today. But I got the contact number. Going to give them a call tomorrow and find out when the earliest I can book her in to get her vagina de -vaginaed. And no more going into heat. Right, Bubby? Because, like, you're getting gray hairs from this. Cause you gotta deal with her meowing all day long and her wanting you to hump her and stuff and like you're a dog and she's a cat and she just wants to get banged out and what the fuck are you really doing? What the hell are you doing? What's going on? What are you doing? Oh, you're just so funny sometimes. You putting on a show? Is that what you were doing? Was you putting on a show? Yeah, he probably was. Here he goes again. But not a show. He's like, look at me, I'm a puppy dog. Look at me, I'm a puppy dog. <laughs> what a fucking creature, eh? Oh my. Alrighty, I got the rice cooker going. Scampers is being annoying as fuck. We got two steaks here. We're gonna take these out to the barbecue. We're gonna grill them up. Let the rice cooker rice it up. Let's go have ourselves a fucking wicked meal. Or, you know, cook it first. Alrighty, well, we're down here in the garage. Got the two steaks on the barbie. Already cleaned it, already did all that nonsense, obviously. Temperature in there is about 500,000 Fahrenheit. So the steak should be cooked in about 10 seconds. Or something like that. It's a bus, it's a bus, it's a bus. Anyway, um, so just um, cooking dinner, I guess, for your sakes. What else do you want me to say? <laughs> I'm basically taking it pretty easy today. I don't think I'm gonna be up too late tonight. Like last night I went to bed at around four in the morning. Got up today at noon. You know, by midnight tonight I'm gonna be pretty, pretty tired. I wanna get to bed by two so I can be up tomorrow by around noon. That'd be nice. Remember this morning when I started the vlog, I talked about those people who showed up at my door. She just walks by the front of the house, eh? 
Like it just just walks by and she gets right between the two cars and she looks over and she goes, Hey, what are you barbecuing? I'm like, steak. And she's like, hmm, I'll come back for a piece. And I'm like, you better. And that was it. Like, what the fuck? She's like, really working this neighborhood hard. And it's not even a valid organization. That's the problem. These are cooking way the freak faster than they did last time. Holy. Today's beverage of choice, the Great Value Grape Soda. Yum, yum, yummy. And like that, we have V for Vendetta. Yup, we do. And we're back in the house. You can hear scampers just fucking howling in there. Yeah. Just waiting on the rice cooker. And uh, then we'll be uh, ready to eat some dinner. Cause let me tell you, I'm fucking starved. Oh, friggin' rights, people. Bun apple tits. Bun apple tits. Bun apple tits. Don't you just hate it when you're a vlogger and you lose your camera? Fine. So after supper, for some reason, I got a super massive case of the drowsies. I ended up laying down for a little bit, but I'm like, fuck that. I'm gonna have a coffee. But I wanted to try something. I really wanted a nice coffee, so I figured what we'll do is this says keeps beverages cold. Doesn't say anything about hot, so we'll find out. But I filled this up with ice, threw a coffee into it. We're gonna do the smallest setting. Now this is not the coffee that you're supposed to use for making iced coffee, this is just generic coffee. But I'm all out of fucks, and I've got nothing to give, so uh, let's see what happens with this nonsense. Oh, they look at that ice, just fucking buckle, eh? But they're warning people not to use glass when doing this, because apparently the glass shatters. Well, it smells like coffee. Okay, right, I'm gonna add some milk and uh, sweetener to it. Right, put that thing back in, and we'll see how this works out. Alright people, moment of truth. Not too bad. Would be better if I had some milk. I use whitener instead. And it probably would be better if I had a flavor shot. But, fuck sakes, not too bad for a cool, refreshing, wake you up drink. Alrighty, well, two things I need to do. Number one, rock a piss. Number two, make another iced coffee. That was fucking good. Alrighty, well, I'll scratch that idea for a freaking iced coffee. I'm out of ice cubes. I forgot to make more. I'm an idiot. But I just put in all four trays in the freezer, so hopefully those will be done by tomorrow so I can have iced coffees. Go to work and bring an iced coffee with me or something. That'd be fucking awesome. But, uh, I just shit my pants. And uh, I think I'm gonna shut this vlog down here, people. I'm not doing anything today. I don't even know why the fuck I picked up the camera, but I did anyway, so frig it. So, oh, shut the fuck up, cat. Holy. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns? This fucking thing's been driving me nuts. I wish that she would come out of heat so I can get her vagina fixed because this thing is driving me right fucking bonkers. Three in the morning, trying to sleep. She's at the door. Meow, meow, meow. So you go open the door, she fucking runs, and it's like, oh my god, I'm gonna set you on fire. But, uh, yeah, needless to say, this little prick hasn't given me much sleep time lately. So she better smarten the fuck up and, like, get out of this freaking heat. Right? 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 Anyway, until next time, people, keep on vlogging.